Hi, welcome to my channel and today we have another Cuposket unboxing video for you. So for this unboxing I'm going to be unboxing the Cinderella Glitter Line Cuposket. Um, this is my second Cuposket from the Glitter Line. I already have the Alice one so if you would like to see that unboxing video I will link it below for you. Also I do lots of Cuposket unboxings on this channel and I do have a few more coming up soon so if you do like Cuposket unboxings then if you do subscribe and hit the notification bell you'll be notified as soon as my next one goes up. So anyway let's get into this one. So this is the Cinderella glitter line. Now originally I wanted this a few months ago when it first came out and I just didn't have the money for it but it's, it was my birthday a couple of days ago so I decided I was going to get it but then I could not find it anywhere um, and it was so expensive on eBay. I eventually found one on Amazon and I think, I think it cost me in the end about £30 including postage which is a lot more than I usually like to pay for them but I just really wanted this one to go on my Cinderella shelf and I had birthday money so I thought you know what I'm just going to get it so I will link it down below for you but like I said it was quite expensive um, but it was cheaper than the ones that were on eBay uh, I think this one actually ended up coming from Spain so it did take uh, about a week or so to get here but it, it wasn't too bad and it was track delivery so I knew where it was um, so anyway this is the front of the box as you can see it's got all the logos on it got the Disney one, the Bram Hester logo and the Bandai logo so you know that it is a um, genuine one if you don't have those logos on the boxes they are usually fakes so we know this is a genuine one so on the front you have this lovely picture of the figure I see she's wearing a lovely sparkly glittery dress. It says here at the front Disney Q Posket Disney character Cinderella glitter line and then it has a little picture of a shoe here as well. Then if we move to the side of the box it's got another picture of the figure's face and then it just says underneath Q Posket glitter line and it's got three little pictures here of the figure so like different angles so you've got a bit of the torso and head here a front view, a front view of her face and then more of a, a view of her torso and um top of her skirt and then it's just got the um bandai cuposket website on there if you want to see what other ones they do and on the back or the front, I'm never quite sure which is which with these ones. I think this is the back, but it could be the front. And then, yeah, they have just the, they have this on every coupon case. It's like a framed photo of the figure. And then just here, it actually shows you a full view of the figure, what it actually looks like. You can see the little stand here as well. And then it just says underneath, Cube Posket Disney Character Cinderella Glitter Line. And then on the other side of the box, it's just got a, another view of the figure. And then it just says Disney Cinderella. So at the bottom of the box has all your information on it. So this is one that has been made for the European market because it has um, the European languages on here. So yeah, and then at the top of the box it has another picture of the figure and it just says Disney Cinderella. So let's get her open because I'm so excited to put her out on my shelf. I hope she looks good in the little spot that I've got left on it. Let's just use the scissors to open her up. So I think there's a few other um figures in the glitter line i don't think i'm going to get any of the others because they are basically just the same as the original figures they've just made them glittery so i don't really see the point in having more than one so i know they do an elsa one so i think it's this one this elsa figure but she's in a glittery dress and then they also do a bell one um which is the same as which is the same as the original beggar bell figure just in a glittery dress and they also do an aerial one as well um i'm not sure if that one's out yet but it's just the same aerial 
it's just the original aerial figure but glittery so I just don't think I'm going to get those ones but I thought Cinderella would look good in a glittery dress so that's why I went for this one that's what it looks like when you open the top And then there she is at the bottom. Let's get her out. <clears throat> so there we go. So like all Cupos kits, she comes in three parts. She got the stand, the body, and the head. So I'm going to open this now, take them all out, and we'll look at each part individually. I think first of all we'll look at the stand okay so there is the stand so the glitter line stands come on these opaque pink uh, stands so they're opaque uh, with so they're pink opaque with glitter in them so it's a bit hard to see the actual Cuposket logo on here I'm not sure if you can make it out but it just says Cuposket here it's got two holes in it for where the figure will slot into. There you go, it's a bit better. You can see it there now. There you go, you can see the Cuposket logo there. And then if we turn it around, it does it have yeah, it does have the I don't think you'll be able to pick it up, but it does have the um Disney copyright logo on there as well. So that is the stand so let's look at the body next okay so here is Cinderella's body as you can see her dress is like an opaque blue plastic with this silver glitter running through it and it's a very big dress so that's the main part of the dress her torso part here also has the glitter in and then the rest of it is just the normal plastic that a cuposket would be. So her arms are just normal. This bit of the dress and the gloves are normal. So it's just this main part of the dress here that has got the glitter in it. And then if we look underneath, she's first she's got her little bloomer knickers on. And then she's got these clear glass slipper shoes. And on the ends of those you can see there's some little nodules here and those are what will slot into the stand now with the way these are made um there's not much paint going on on this one so i don't expect there'd be too much of a paint um flaws on them she looks pretty good uh there is like a bit of a dirty mark here uh, I think that's a bit of a flaw in the plastic. Um, the choker isn't painted that well, but it's fine. Yeah, she looks pretty good. So let's take a look at her head now. Okay, so here is Cinderella's head. As you can see, she's got these gorgeous big blue eyes. She's got a little pink lip. She's got rosy cheeks. She looks very pretty and then she's got her classic Cinderella headband on and this top bit is sparkly like her dress so it's the same opaque blue plastic with the, the silver sparkle in it that looks nice there's her hair so it's tied up in the bun like she has in the movie and yeah I don't really see any flaws on her face at all looks pretty good to me there is that you can see some of the glue I'm not sure if you'll pick it off on here but she does have a big glue mark here and it does feel really rough 
um, where the glue has been here but it's at the back so you're not really going to see it too much so yeah I'm really happy with her so let's put her together and see what she looks like and then I think I'll compare her to my other Cinderella coupons just so we can see the difference so I think I'm going to put the body on first There we go, and I'm just going to slot her onto the stand. I think it goes the other way. Yeah, that way, so it only fit on one way. And there you go, she looks so pretty. I do really like her. I do think Cinderella is probably the best one to get in the glitter line because obviously her dress in the movie it was a bit sparkly so it fits in well whereas some of the others I just don't think the sparkle sort of goes like I did get the Alice one and I did say I don't really think it goes very well with Alice but I just wanted an Alice one at the time so I got that one but I think the sparkle looks really good on Cinderella because obviously it's a ball gown and it was sparkly in the movie so it does look really good on Cinderella Okay, so I'll just give you a view from all angles of her now. Okay, so here she is from the front. From the side. From the back. From the other side. And back to the front. Okay, so I'm now going to get my other Cinderella Cuposket and compare so you can see the difference between the two. Okay, so this is my other one. This one is the um, special colour version. So it's like she's got like an opaque dress and she's got her, her little um, signature here. So that's what she looks like. So it's basically the exact same um, figure, just their dresses are different. I think maybe this one's hair is also more pearlescent and lighter colour. And this one's face just looks a bit more pinky than this one. But otherwise they're pretty pretty much the same other than their dress so yeah I just wanted to show you the difference between the two there we go okay so I'm going to give you a closer look of the figure now
Okay, so I'm now just going to take you over to my Cinderella shelf and show you where she is going to go. Okay, so this is currently what my Cinderella shelf looks like. So obviously she is going to sit here. I might remove this animator's mug. Um, I'm not sure if it looks right there, so might, that might move. But yeah, I'm just going to slot her in and see if I need to remove that mug. So she's going to go just there, which I think looks really nice. Um, yeah, I just like the one that either side I just think that looks really pretty so now I just need to decide whether I want the animators mug or not so let's move that out push that back a bit does that look better I'm not too sure yeah I'm not too sure about the animators mug whether to keep it or not I think for now I'll leave it there but anyway that is where she is gonna go she looks really pretty there and I'm really really happy with her so yeah she does now complete my Cinderella shelf so really happy with that purchase I'm just gonna slot that back in there for now there we go okay so that is the end of this unboxing video i hope you have enjoyed it if you have please give it a like don't forget to subscribe i hope to see you again soon for another unboxing video bye